Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Um, this video primarily is for Rose. Um, she showed an interest in um, some of my kikis growing on and various things. Um, I filmed a lot of stuff that went off to uh, Orchid Society meeting to be sold and um, unfortunately had to come back with some because <laughs> they didn't sell. And um, Rose showed a specific interest so she gets first shout. Um, this is, um, I've forgotten what it is, Zen Ming Brontosaurus Phalaenopsis. Um, if I've got blooms of any of these, I will put a pop-up of the bloom, yeah? And <laughs> the interest can be shown in the order that I film them, so that's number one. If you're going to take that, I'm afraid it's coming out of that pot because I've got so few holy pots I can't spare it and that would virtually double the weight of the package so I will have to unpot that and put it in a plastic pot. But it has got some roots. It was split off of the main plant which is that one down there with the spike on it. Yeah. So effectively this was a kiki plantlet whatever you want to call it pushing out the side that I separated off the main plant not that long ago so that will probably need a little bit of TLC but um, you know it has pushed some roots down so it has got some roots not many but some um, but it will have to get unpotted and put back in a plastic pot um, so that's that one <coughs> this is um, well rooted Berioda which is a Kingianum cross um, very fragrant lovely dark coloured blooms and the three original kikis actually bloomed <laughs> at the beginning of this year. They've been in the pot a while, so they've got a good root system, and there's three nice new growths coming on. Yeah, so um, quite honestly, to be safe, they will all get a spray with the systemic um, and dried off before I pack them, because I do have the odd bug here and there, and I don't want those getting transported, so I will give them a clean up. So that's... Um, Kingianum cross berry odor. Very fragrant, that one. That's plant number two. Now, plant number three is effectively it's a dendrobium species and it's Findlayanum. It's um again, these are not very well rooted. They need getting lower in the pot. Um, so the easiest way to do that is to just add some media on the top. But they have got roots and they are actively growing. So, you know, they're underway. And they're just starting to form up their bulbous leaf joints. Um, yeah, that's just going to fall out of the pot. I'll get that potted properly. <laughs> that's because I don't handle them very often. That's the mother plant up there. Let's, well, let's, let's get it down, let's do this properly. <laughs> it's early in the day, I wasn't planning on doing much out here today. Let's sit that there for a minute. Okay, so that's the mother plant, and the health warning is it still hasn't bloomed for me. Um, so it looks like it's going to be one of the more troublesome dendrobium species. But um, these little canes here, were what I had when I bought it, yeah? So, um, it, it during that year when I first bought it, it pushed up a few what I thought were reasonable canes until the following year when it grew these, <coughs> which were much larger, and quite honestly, I expected to bloom. And when the nubbins grew, they turned out to be those kikis rather than blooms. Um, this is this year's canes, this one, this one and this one so um, I would expect that to bloom in the spring but that's the sort of size plant from the time I got it to now is about two and a half years something like that so that that's the growth I've managed in that time it's not a fast grower it has got some new growths coming out of the base wrong time of year for those but they do that sort of thing so that's what you're aiming at that's that's the sort of size it can get to in that amount of time. I mean, that's far from a specimen plant, but you know, it's coming on nicely. So that's that one, Dendrobium findlayanum. Needs potting better than that before it gets transported, which I will do. <coughs> right, what's next? I'm gonna do this one. Now this is a guess. 
Again, rooted kiki. This one has got roots down in the pot, so it's uh, more secure. <laughs> and I'm 95% certain that that is Dendrobium hercoglossum. But because I didn't put a tag in it, I've got no guarantee. But looking back earlier in the year when hercoglossum was in bloom, again, this, this is the mother plant up here, this bush that I've usually got my head in at some point. Um, so it can get quite a large plant, yeah? The new growths head upwards and then as the weight increases, as they grow, they start to arch over and end up being a dangly bush, how I grow it anyway. Very reliable bloomer for me, guaranteed. It's never failed, even when it was a young plant, it still bloomed. And I'm pretty confident that that's what that kiki is, because earlier in the year, I've got this distant memory in my mind, I can't find the video, where I was filming the blooms on this, and I seem to remember saying, oh, it's actually got a kiki, that's the first time it's ever done that. And that expression just sits in my mind, so I'm pretty confident that that is Dendrobium hercoglossum, which doesn't come up for sale that often, so that would be plant number three. <coughs> it's like a quiz show, isn't it? <laughs> These two I'll do together, um, as I said, any blooms associated with plants will get pop-ups. These are both the same, and it's a Kingianum hybrid, which I had an enormous version of once on a vast mount. It, it used to live up there and take up that whole space. It was so big, I just let it go, because they're not personally my favourite type of blooms, and a plant that big was just too much. So it can grow big, warning. <laughs> but then a lot of the Kingianum types do. It's a no ID, but it has delicate blooms and they are fragrant. And it produces them in pretty good numbers. Um, it also produces new growths at a rate of knots. It's a vigorous grower. And it produces kikis. Well, it, in here it does anyway. <laughs> it might not do that everywhere. <clears throat> so if we call... That plant number four, yeah, that's the larger version. Um, very well rooted in there. And, um, you, well, you can see the size of the new growths compared with the older ones, the Kikis, the originals. So it's growing well, but no ID hybrid. This is the other version of the same plant. A few more Kikis that just came off before the plant got uh, sold. Um, and again, you can see the difference between the original Kikis and the latest new growth, yeah? So there's two of those, so where are we? One, two, three, four. So that'll be plant number five, the larger one. And plant number six is the smaller version of the same thing. Let's get those two out of the way. I can't show the mother plant of that because I sold it. <coughs> now this one, again, um, the mother plant was sold because it got too big for me to accommodate. Um, so uh, I'm not sure I kept the picture of the blooms, but if you go to my home page on my channel, yeah, the main sort of page, the banner right across the top are the blooms off of this. Yeah, so that, that you know, that's, that's a shot of what the blooms look like. Um, it's a primary cross, I'm reliably told, that is named Dendrobium cassiope but it's nobly crossed with moniliform. And um, the guy I got it from had lost his tag, but he was confident that's what it was because it was the only large dendrobium he had. So reasonably certain, okay? It grows big, yeah? Again, well-rooted kikis that were taken off the mother plant. Some new growths just starting. Not a bad plant, <coughs> if you're into that sort of thing. Um, it did bloom reliably for me when I had it. The blooms are not long-lived. I think around a fortnight, maybe a little bit less. Um, slightly fragrant, but quite large. And lovely colour. Uh, white with a purple centre. Quite nice looking. Um, so where did we get to? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's plant number seven. <laughs> and behind door number seven... Um, okay, so uh, those are the ones that are to go. Um, at some point or another, they will go. Whether they go via this exercise or at a later date, 
well, in the first instance, is up to Rose. Um, there's not going to be big money talked about, but we'll do that privately. Um, cost of postage is unknown, but um, I sent quite a large plant. In fact, it was the Mother Berry Odour that I split into three, and they were three quite large plants. And one of those I sent to Alberta in uh, Alberto, sorry, in Pizza in Italy, and the cost for that I was amazed with, you know, with the weight, which wasn't great, um, but it was only around ten pounds for that box, and the chances are I could get all of these in a similar size box. So we're not talking about huge money for the postage. So we'll see how we do. Okay, so that's just the ones that are to go. And um, like I said, Rose has first shout. Any that are left over, I'll let you know. <laughs> if. <laughs> uh, he says if, hopefully, really, because I want them gone. Um, but yeah, so that's what's up for grabs. Okay, thanks for dropping by. You know me, there's always an afterthought. Um, this is Dendrobium harveyanum. Very reliable and profuse bloomer with gorgeous blooms on. It's just about to do it again. But it's had a wee bit of a setback from being taken out of a pot and mounted. But the new growths are pushing on strong up the top now, so I'm happy that it's going to recover. But it does have a kiki. Um, now, I'm not prepared to take that kiki off yet. Um, those roots could do with a bit being a bit bigger and it needs to open some leaves. Um, until the leaves open there's virtually no photosynthesis going on so it's going to have trouble supporting itself until that time. Now that's not going to be long. I mean that's grown, I think it's grown an inch and a half in a week. <laughs> so it's pushing on at a good rate. Um, but I need the top leaves to open and the roots to push on a little bit more before I'm prepared to separate it. Um, but I would be happy to include that, but obviously the weight will be there. There will need to be a weight to get that one ready to go, because I'm not doing two packages. But yeah, so that's Dendrovium harveyanum. I'll add that in to the list.